Our lesson today is the unforgiving servant. Yep, we're talking about forgiving, forgiving others. Look at the picture. See Jesus with his disciples? He's teaching them. He teaches us too. Where? Right, in the Bible. The Bible are God's words. That's where Jesus teaches us. Our lesson today is from Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 to 35. Let's start with the Lord's Prayer. Fold your hands and bow your heads. And some of you already know this, but especially listen to the words, okay? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, you know those middle words, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Those are the words that Jesus taught us when he taught his disciples to pray. Let's look at this. Forgive us our trespasses. What is a trespass? Well, a trespass is a sin. It's something where we say we won't cross that line. And you know what sin is? Sin is disobeying God. It's crossing God's line, isn't it? And do you know what a debt is? A debt is when you have to pay something back. Do we have to pay back for the sins that we have? No, because Jesus paid our price for our sins, didn't he? We need to repent, say we're sorry. We need to be sorry. Yes, and then our debt is all paid by Jesus, and he forgives us as if that never even happened. Let's see what, what Matthew tells us about what, G, what Peter was asking Jesus. Then Peter came up and said to Jesus, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but 77 times. Wow, that's a lot, isn't it? So how many times should we forgive someone? Well, let's look at this picture. See the little girl? She did something bad to her brother or to her friend, didn't she? And what's the friend doing? He's forgiving her. Yes, so Peter says, how many times should we forgive our brother? What about three times? Is that enough, do you think? I forgive you, I forgive you, I forgive. That's a lot of forgiving, isn't it? But you know what? The teachers of the law in those days said you should forgive at least three times. That would be good. But do you know what? Peter thinks, well, I'll just say maybe seven times. I'll say the same three and double it, and then maybe put one on just for extra, because I'm really good, right? Oh, well, don't think of yourself as so good, because Jesus says, not seven times, but 77 times. <gasps> wow, look at that. That's a lot of forgiving, isn't it? Let's see how many times. Oh, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at 77 times. Oh, my. That's a lot of forgiving, isn't it? Jesus says we should forgive as many times as is necessary. So whenever someone asks us, Please forgive me. What do we say? I forgive you. Good job. 
and Jesus is here, and he forgives us, doesn't he? When we say, we're sorry, Jesus. And who is our brother? Well, that's our brother, or our sister, or our friend, or our enemy. Should we forgive our enemies too? Yes, we should. We should forgive everyone. Jesus told the disciples a parable. That's a story with a meaning so that the disciples and you too can understand what he's trying to tell us about forgiving. Did you get one of these hearts in your packet this week? You also should have gotten some coloring pages. Look on those coloring pages for a heart. It's up in a corner somewhere. If you can find it, put one of those stickers on top of that heart. And remember that your actions show that you are God's child and make sure that they are pleasing to God. Let's pick up our story here on verse 23. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven is like a king. See the king over here? Let's get our pointer. Here we go. See the king? There's the king. He's like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. As he began to settle, a man owed him 10,000 bags of gold. Wow. And see this sheet over here? That lists all of the money that this man down here owed the king. Okay, let's see what happens here. Since he was not able to pay the master or... He ordered that his wife and his children and all that he had be sold to repay the debt. Remember we talked about a debt? It's something that has to be paid back, right? This servant owed so much. All of these bags of gold, could he ever repay it? No, not in his whole lifetime. Even if he gave him every cent that he earned for 20 years, he could never repay this, this gigantic debt. And so do you know what the king did? Well, first, the servant fell on his knees before him, and he said, be patient with me. He begged, and he said, I will pay back everything. And the servant's master, the king, took pity on him, and he canceled his debt and let him go. What a wonderful king that is, right? Well, let's look at this for a minute. You know who that servant is? That's you. And you know who that king is? That's God. And you know what that debt is? That's our sins. And we are the ones that beg God to forgive us. We repent. And the king, Jesus, God, God says, I forgive you. Your debt is gone. You no longer have to pay it back. Well, do you think that servant was excited? Yes, I'll bet he is. Let's see what happened next. Got to get rid of our pointer. And we'll go to the next screen. Oh, my goodness. Look at that servant. What is he doing? He's choking somebody. Let's see what happened. When this, that very servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred silver coins. This man owed a thousand gold, and this man only owes a thousand, a hundred silver. And this man could pay him back in about one day's wages. But this man, the servant, the evil, wicked servant, was not going to let him do that. When he found him, he grabbed him by the neck and he started to choke him. Look at him choking him there. Is that a good thing? No. Is hitting someone a good thing? No. Is fighting with somebody a good thing? No. 
Well, the servant that owed him si silver coins begged him and begged him, be patient with me and I will pay it back. But the evil servant said no. He refused and instead he went off and he had this man thrown into prison until he could pay the debt. When, and then now look, see who's this in the window? <gasps> That's the king's servant. And when he saw what was happening, he was outraged. He was so angry at this man. And so he went back to the king and told his master everything that had happened. Wow, that's awful, isn't it? Well, let's go take a look and see what happened next. Oh my goodness. The king called the servant in. He had the soldiers go out and get him and bring him to the palace. He said, the king said, you wicked servant. You, he said, I have canceled all that debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant just as I had on you? And in anger, the master handed him over to the jailers to be put into jail where they tortured him until he should pay back all that he owed. Wow, that is a scary thing, isn't it? Let's just look on and see what happens next. Well, Jesus is here and he told this story to his disciples. And you know what else he said? He said, this is the way your father will do to you if you don't forgive other people. So how many times should we forgive? We should forgive every time someone asks us, right? Time and time again. Should we even forgive people who are mean to us? Yes, we should. When we forgive, does it show others that we are a child of God? Yes, it does. And here is our lesson here where we are looking at our, our activity that we had in our packets. And you can find all of these different things and circle them. There's a, a, a crown and a cross and coins. There are coins everywhere. Can you see the coins there? We have flowers, we have butterflies, and we have another butterflies and crosses everywhere. Can you find all of these things? Did you find that, that face of Jesus? There it is, way over there. And did anybody find the Bible? Can you find that Bible? Where is it? Oh, there it is, way up there. You look and see if you can find the rest of the things. And let's go on to our next slide. Well, today we learned that there are consequences for our actions. God loves our actions when we are kind and merciful, just like the friend was, right? God does not like our actions when we are mean and cruel. Like the little boy there that's pushing the other boy, was that a bad thing? Yes, it was. And you know what God does? He disciplines us. He corrects us so that we will turn from our sin and repent and be sorry. Not just say, oh, sorry. We want to be sorry. He has mercy on us and he forgives us. Why? Because Jesus died on the cross and paid our price. And because he forgives us, we should also forgive others. Let's fold our hands and close our eyes and we'll close with a prayer. Are you ready? Dear Heavenly Father, we became your child in our baptism through our Savior Jesus by the power of your Holy Spirit. Please help us to stop feeling angry when others are mean to us. Help us to show others we are your child 
by our actions. Thank you for forgiving our sins. Help us to forgive others so we can continue to be friends. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, that's all we have for this week. Keep your eyes on your mailbox and you might be one more. I think we have one more lesson before we start in person Sunday school and Wednesday kids. So you guys be sure that you talk to your mom and dad and tell them you want to go to Sunday school because we're going to start on Sunday mornings and on Wednesday evenings. Watch your mailbox now. Bye-bye.